Happy Hanukkah to you and to your family. As we gather in our homes tonight to light the Hanukkah, the Hanukkah menorah, we're fully aware that this year is a Hanukkah like no other. The darkness from the pandemic continues to rage on with a vengeance. Our country is still bitterly divided. Our souls are in need of healing from months of isolation, which still continues for so many. There is great loss in our communities. There is still illness. There is social tension. We yearn for wholeness and for healing and for unity and for reconciliation, for the weight of uncertainty to be lifted from our shoulders, to be able to return to some semblance of life the way we knew it before. We want our lives back, even as the hope of the reality of a vaccine is not too far away. Hanukkah is the ultimate holiday that teaches us how to live in the midst of uncertainty and to never give up hope. After all, why is Hanukkah eight days? It really should be seven days because there was, in fact, enough oil to burn for the first day. That first candle was supposed to burn for that one day. That was no miracle. But the real miracle of Hanukkah is that our ancestors were willing to light that small cruise of oil without any reasonable assurance that their efforts would be sufficient to complete the rededication of the temple in Jerusalem. The miracle of Hanukkah is that the Jewish people had the courage to light that first candle in the first place. The Jewish story is a story of our survival throughout history without any guarantees of success. By all accounts, given everything that has happened to us, we shouldn't be here. We should not have survived. But it is, in fact, our strength to live with uncertainty, to not to wait to perfect a set of circumstances in order to move on. We never ask God to provide us with absolute certainty, but rather we prayed for the courage to get up off the mat and to live with whatever we have, whatever faced us, however dark the circumstances, however hopeless it seemed, and to light the first candle and all the candles that will follow to begin a process without knowledge of how it would all end. And the Jewish story has not ended. It continues on and on and on because of that faith. So this year, when you light your Hanukkah, when you light the Hanukkah lamp and you sing the songs and you spin the dreidel and gather either alone or on Zoom or with your immediate family in your household, I pray that the Hanukkah lights will inspire you to do one more mitzvah, one more act of kindness, one more deed that will bring goodness and light into this world despite all of the challenges and all of the hurdles. Because if we dig down deep enough and we tap into the power of the Jewish story, our story, we know that we have the ability, each and every one of us, to transform this world with the simple act of lighting that very first candle. Simchat Chanukah, a happy Chanukah, a joyous and safe and uplifting and meaningful Hanukkah to all. Chag Olim Sameach.